Hello everyone, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Where today, we are going to be moving on to the second level, which will of course be a uh, crop circle country. So, yes, and in order to get through this gate, we have now got the power up that we unlocked in the last part, as you will see in the last minute of, uh, pa of part two. So, there we go. Let's open up the gate. And now we're into a whole new area. So yes, there's these like areas that you sort of like open up and access in this game. So, you know, sort of like very interesting and very unique. I'm just going to say this uh, to a new spiral game. So before we begin the crop circle level, I'm just going to collect these gems around here. I'm, I'm not going to collect them down there. I'm actually going to save that for when I actually go to do that level because there's actually a challenge down there. So I'm actually going to wear... Uh, I'm going to save that for now, and I'm probably going to save the, uh... In fact, I might as well collect the gems up yeah. here, because there's only a few gems up here, uh, anyway, so... And of course, there is another entrance to a level, which we can't access yet, but, uh... We could speak to a dragon anyway, just to see what he's got to say, so... And there's no even speaking to this guy. Oh, yeah, there Hello, is. Spyro. You need to collect more of those them air bugs, and I should have this honeycomb raft working like a charm. Yeah, so I need 45 dragonflies to go on that, so I don't exactly see that that is going to be happening right now, so uh, yeah, that is a very good point, actually. Uh, hey, and I'm actually, I'm actually doing pretty well, actually, with actual uh, catching these dragonflies, so... Uh, really, really cool. Uh, that I'm actually managed to catch these last few dragonflies uh, because I've been recording these to like two parts back to back. So yeah, I've suddenly uh, picked up a lot of good skill at catching dragonflies. So yes, there is a challenge here with uh, like a power up gate, like you see in Spyro 2. But we're actually going to be leaving this for this part, and we're just going to be going pretty much uh, straight into uh, the next level, which will be, uh, of course, Crop Circle Country. So let's speak to this guy and let's get in there. Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware. The space cows, they're everywhere, everywhere. Yep, so let's go. Let's hop on the UFO and let's go to, I suppose, uh, the nighttime cousin of Robotica Farms, you could call it. Perhaps. But anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah. This level actually does run good uh, on Dolphin, so that's a good thing. If this was on the PS2 version, the PAL version, like I have, because obviously I'm from the UK, uh, the frame rate of the whole level is like 15 FPS, and it is janky. So this time we get to do it in 60. So yeah, cool stuff. So here we go. Crap Circle Country. Howdy, Spyro. Space rip talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go round back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Yeah, so... Basically... This level is like a circular level. Well, pretty much lots of levels are in Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, actually. Uh, I know Rodri, uh, Bobbledink, really likes these sort of like circular Spyro levels. So, he'd probably find that to be actually uh, quite fascinating, actually. And of course, I'm going to use ele Electric Breath. is actually very useful. I actually pretty much prefer it to Flame Breath. I actually find it a lot more responsive uh, to fire, so... That is the breath that I'm probably going to try to use as much as I can. Because really in this level, there's not actually much point in actually using the uh, flame breath, apart from maybe one or two challenges. And speaking of this level, there's like one challenge in this level that I'm really not fond of, or a big fan of. So I really want to be checking around here that I've got all of the... Uh, the uh, gems I possibly can get because I do because I mean I've got to come back to this level anyway because there's backtracking in this level believe it or not so 
But you've got to go round again to do more challenges. You can't like do them the first time round, which is uh, a very odd choice. But, you know, I can't exactly keep moaning, can I? Because, uh, at the same time, I mean, it gives us more, you know, reason to be playing Spyro games. And any reason to play Spyro games or, you know, is a good one. So here we go. So let's uh, get this dragonfly. Oh, second time this time. Hey, it's Akira. Yeah, so I'm gonna go uh, just collect the rest of these gems here. I'm gonna rescue, uh, well, not rescue. I'm gonna kill these chickens. Uh, I think kill and rescue are two entirely different things altogether. I don't understand how I even managed to mix some words up. That was just totally stupid. But anyway, here we go. I'm just gonna uh, take you down. Never gonna take you down. No, I'm not. I'm not Rick rolling the, uh, the the audience through my singing. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I definitely do not want to be doing that. So anyway, uh, and that's not even the lyrics. Anyway, it's let you down, not take you down. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. Uh, and this guy is totally stuck. Oh, of course he's unstuck when he gets nearby. Of course, that is how it works. So. Uh, Yes, and in order to destroy these uh, scarecrows, you need flame breath. Which, I mean, it's not difficult to use. It really isn't. So, ow. I don't really understand what even bumped there. That was just totally daft. So anyway, I'm going to speak to this guy here, see what he's got to say. Hey, you're Spyro, ain't you? Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? I have not because they are not there right now. I have got to rescue the uh, the other cows. Well, maybe they are the cows. Maybe I just release them all and they all uh, go awire and end up here, uh, which I've absolutely no idea. I, I want you to seriously answer me this question. I'm not meaning to waste time here, but how does a cow jump this? Can a cow even do that? Because that is the only way they can actually get over to here. I mean, I just, I just don't know. Is, is it possible? I, I, I don't know cow anatomy. Uh, cow anatomy? Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hey, it's Nick. Oh wow, I'm actually on fire at collecting these dragonflies. Now, the last time I played this game, as I said in previous parts, was when I did the, uh, the, you know, what was it called for the game race awfully championship. So, and that race actually had a. Uh, Yes, Wally won in it, one of the top runners in the world for this game. So, uh, and I believe him actually might still be the world record holder for this game. I'm not too sure. I've really been keeping up to date for this, but, uh, but you know, not the, not the guy I'd often really like shout out in a let's play, but you know, considering he's uh, got the record, you know, uh, world record for this game. Definitely worthy of one. So anyway, here we go. We're just going to go over here and over to this side. And uh, we're going to do a long glide over here. And then over to this one. And then over here. So... Yep, so not necessarily a lot of unnecessary backtracking having to be done by having to uh, go on that UFO again. So, here we go, we're just going to... Uh, and we are approaching close to a minigame, so... Yeah, this is not the bad minigame. The bad minigame comes up later. And to be honest, it's probably one of my least mini favourite minigames in the game, so... Uh, Yeah, get on this ladder. There we go. Bubble breath. Are they ready? And even though this guy is still, he is not being caught. What is going on? Oh, here we go. Hey, it's the launch. There we go. Got that one. Pretty cool. So yeah, uh, let's uh, go down here and let's do this mini game, which I'll explain how it works once we get in there. So as we just patiently sit through another loading screen. You know, because we might as well just do that, haven't we? Uh, because, well, really, we haven't really got a choice, have we? So it's going to be happening. Uh, oh, dear.
There's a space riptock holding that dragonfly hostage. If you activate all the platforms around the tower by jumping on them, it'll lower the tower down so you can rescue it. Attempt the trial of the platforms? Yeah, so here we go. So this is an interesting one. Because you've got to actually uh, sort of like activate platforms. And uh, I can actually do a, a glide because, you know... There we go, we got to head bash two buttons. And then that activates the uh, to lower the levels of the next platforms. And then basically you've got to light up all of these electric rods. And it's interesting because we're like in a big moat here. Uh, so yeah, total different uh, changing environment. And uh, yeah, it's like a big lake really. It's like an enclosed lake, as you can see. They, they don't go to the sea or anything, as you can see with the... Uh, views over there so yeah but let's do a uh, body slam here pretty cool yep so now I can go up here I can go on this one switch back to electric breath I don't even know why I was on flame breath I didn't actually need to be on flame breath so I think I can test the theory that if I can go in the next level uh, I'm actually gonna see if uh, you know as I go back to the main level if it's actually going to uh, put it back to uh, yeah, and this one I can just stand still and go through, so... Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. It really is. So here we go. Let's get the next one. No! Oh, come on! No, don't do... Okay, alright. I was very lucky I saved that then. And of course, there is the one Riptock in here that needs defeating, which will release Dragonfly. So yes, uh, I got you there, it sucker. Well, that's the spirit. Purple dragon sure has some spunk. Now, here's a dragonfly for you, son. <laughs> hey, it's Rickshaw. Attempt the trial of the platforms? Um, no, because I've just done that. Come back anytime. And there's only one dragonfly for that, so I have absolutely no reason to do that challenge again. Now... I've just remembered that I am on electric breath. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick test of a flame. And I am going to see if I still have the uh, electric breath or it's re bleph? electric breath or it's reset itself back to its default breath of yeah. So yeah, we're going to have a look at that. So loading please wait, of course. You have to see that every time you go back into the main level, uh, not something you should have done to say this game was meant to be the most technically and logical advanced spiral game yet. And it's reset back to flame. So, yeah, that theory is correct. Oh, what the heck? Spyro was just sort of like, just sort of like, stood there sliding along. So, yeah, you've got to uh, reset it. No, not bubbles. Oh, you see, this, this sort of like handicaps you in the game. I never actually knew until now that actually exiting or entering a new level or loading into a new area actually resets your breath. That should be something that the game should have done. Uh, you know, something simple for the game to remember, especially if it's saving your progress. Is it really that hard for the game to actually be able to save what breath you're on? I don't actually think it is. I really do not. So. Uh, Yep, here we go, we're gonna go flame you, there we go, pretty cool. Uh, just go over here, give you a little flame there. And I hear UFOs. And of course, I will make my way over here, which is, uh, there's actually no, like, reason to actually, uh, And there we go, nice stuff, so uh, let's uh, Here's the next one I've got to worry about, because that's where the stupid mission is. An electric breath does not destroy these, which is really annoying, because that would save me having to uh, mess about with extra breaths. Now, 
I don't know if there's actually a reward for destroying these. It might award you a dragonfly. I cannot remember too, you know, too much, but... Right, no missing gems here. Let's go back to Electric Breath. Uh, I've already got Sparks topped up to full, and I don't want to be killing Fodder unnecessary because it makes you feel like an evil person. And there's a Zoe Zap. Probably the first Zoe Zap in the level, so... They're very sparse in this level. They really are. I mean, at least in the previous Spyro games, they do uh, giving them a decent, uh, reasonable distance apart. But in this game, they do not do that. Uh, so, which is, you know, totally silly, really. Uh, but one thing I will say about this level is the skybox is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Uh, so I really like what they've sort of like. Uh, done there with that, so that is honestly uh, really cool, so I'm just going to uh, charge over here and there goes the dog again, I hope you don't mind that uh, not exactly a farm animal for the level, but you know uh, it's a funny touch anyway, so... Okay, I'm going to have to check what that is. So yeah, uh, not to be alarmed, but that was just a post. So uh, really, really, nothing like uh, you know a big reason to actually have to uh, come away to check what that was. But anyway, uh, it doesn't matter because you know uh, it didn't really cause any major disruption to the let's play. Uh, so anyway, here we go. We're just going to do a glide over here. No, well, that is not how you do a glide. I think you're actually meant to. Uh, I'm not doing this very good, am I? I keep forgetting that this control's different. I mean, I come away from the game for one minute and I totally forget how it controls. Totally done. Oh, come on. Can I not even get a simple glide here? It's really not that hard, is it? Right, okay. So now I'm going to do a glide over to here. And there we go. Here we go. Let's just get this mission done. Let's just get this mission over with, because we might as well just get it completed, aren't we, and just uh, call it a day, because we know we don't like this, but we know we're just going to do it anyway, so. Yeah. Save into memory card slot A, of course. Uh, right. Spyro, I'm glad you're here. I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere, and now a big UFO is coming to abduct Farmer Dill's cows. There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? Um, okay. I guess so. I mean, I've really got a choice, have I? Uh. You better hurry. Here it comes now. Don't let that nasty UFO get a single cow. Nope. So, yeah, uh, let's see how this uh, goes then. So, you press A to uh, cause a tractor beam. To uh, pick up cows, and you press, of course, you press Y to uh, shoot. Because this is Nintendo layout, by the way. This is not Xbox layout. Uh, I get very confused between the two. I don't understand why they both had to be different. Uh, they both should have stuck with one or the other. In fact, it should have been Nintendo's layout first, actually, because they they actually uh, brought it in first. So 
Yeah, so basically we've got to just shoot down the UFOs. Now, one thing you've noticed is, as well, in this one, come on, get, go down. There we go, so that's a good thing. Now this part is not too hard, but what annoys me about this mission the most is, they didn't even bother to put a skybox in it. What sort of spiral level is missing a skybox? Like, it, 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 I, I wanted to rotate that camera, for goodness sakes. I didn't even want to open up a guidebook. See, this is what happens when you confuse the controls. I mean, it really is. So, yeah, I'm just going to uh, lift you up before we go-go. Uh, okay, I'm not putting any more songs in this Let's Play, so uh, I'm just going to let go here. I'm going to do some shooting with that guy there. And you see, my commentary in this is awful because I just do not have much to say about this mission. I mean, fancy designing a mission you don't really have a lot to say about. Uh, yeah, very good question. And at least in this one, you can kind of see where you like get into it down the path. Uh, just over there, look. So, yeah, really cool touch. And this UFO has grabbed every single cow I've wanted to grab. I mean, look at the state of this. I mean, it's not even... Fancy just not even adding a skybox to a spiral level. That is just... Totally just plain dumb decision. It really is. Uh, now I'm just going to knock you uh, over there. <laughs> I was going to sound like I knock you out. But uh, I don't really want to be saying that, do I? Uh, now I know a lot of people don't like the level uh, Robotica Farms in Spyro 2. But I personally do quite like the level. And you've just got to remember while you're playing that level. No matter how long you're in there. And no matter how much you don't like the level that basically it is not this level just just remember that and it is definitely not this mini game so here we go that's that one done how awesome is that so yeah cool stuff that was awesome spyro you saved all the cows by the way i found this dragonfly hiding in the barn here you go <laughs> hey it's jingles Jingles. Reminds me of Jingle Bells. Did you see that? Farmer Dill forgot to lock the gate and the cows got out. And it looks like there's more UFOs this time. Do you think you're up for another run? So just as you thought it was all over, no it is not. There is of course another round, a harder round, a more tedious round, so... Yes. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? You, you don't say. Watch out for the gold UFOs. Those mean little guys will shoot your eye out. Gold. They have to be gold, don't they? Gold of all colours. So, uh, yep, so now we've got to rescue all of these cows and get them away from that UFO for one thing, while not being constantly shot at by the gold ones. I'm going to say the yellow, because they're clearly... You can, you can get to, for goodness sakes, just go down. Alright, so I'm going to stay low, because that way I feel like I've got less chance of being hit. I don't exactly know if that works or not, but all I can definitely tell you is that it's... Off a... No, no, let go. Let go of the cow. Oh, that was close. An earlier... Come on! Yeah, because once that cow's abducted, that's that. It's game over. Uh, so I really do not want that to be happening, do I? So yeah, that's uh, hopefully that should be my second cow I'm going to get in. Come on, let me get the cow in. Let me get the cow in the pen. Come on, I can do this. There we go, nice one. Uh, right, before I progress, I'm just going to take these guys out because they're just, they're just annoying to me. They really are, and I, I, I don't want that. I really do not want that. Uh, But then again, I suppose it's not all about what I want, is it? The AIs can be a pain in the ass, and, uh... You know, that's just, uh... How this mission was programmed? I don't even know who designed this mission. It could have been executed so much better. I mean, I even much prefer the Space Cows missions in Country Speedway, which was not really a mission I was hugely fond of. That I may or may not have said in my, uh... Let's play of Spyro 3 when I did Breed Knighted back in uh, 2019. Uh, 
or early 2020. A year we don't speak of, by the way. But, uh, so I'm just going to say it happened in 2019. Because uh, that's the, uh, the best way to actually protect my sanity at this point. Uh, right, okay. Right, pick up. There we go. So if I get that one cow in here, that's good. Because that basically means that I've be I think I've... Uh, I've got one more cow to do, and then the mission is over. There we go. So, yeah, let me just, uh... Oh, I'm, I'm taking you three out. They're all coming from the same direction. Why? Why me? Oh, come on. That cow's going to be abducted, isn't it? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's what I mean. You've got to get the hit. So precise. And this... I'm, I, I swear, this more UFOs just appeared. So, come on. Let me get this pen. In this no, this cow in the pen, pen in the cow, and then <laughs> I didn't want to even open that. There we go. Right, let me just drop you down here. Right, thank you, thank you. I can get the hell out of here now. Cool, you did it again. Please take my pet dragonfly as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Hey, it's J Dubs. J Dubs. What kind of a name even is that? But it's kind of cool. Uh, regardless. Do you want to take a spin in the prototype UFO? No, I don't want to take it for a spin. Get out of here. Thanks again, Spyro. You can come back anytime you feel like taking the prototype UFO for a spin. I'm gonna hang out here and watch the skies for space cows. There's not even the any sky to watch. There, Spyro. Because there's no skybox. Whatever. Yeah, J Dubs actually does have quite a nice beat to it. It really does. Uh, yeah, so that's actually uh, kind of cool, I guess you could say. But anyway, we're just going to uh, finish this mission off and uh, and get out of here. Because, uh, yeah, I just want to get the main part of the level complete, which I should be able to do. Uh, Providing everything hasn't reset, we're going in these two missions. I never actually gave that a thought, but that's a good question. How are these cows even in that section anyway? I they were, they're locked up, like they said at the start of the mission. That this just makes absolutely no sense at all. It really does not. But yeah, you, you can kind of like hear in my voice that I, I might sound like I'm determined not to like this game. Uh, I'm trying to give it a chance. Trust me, I am. I swear, I'm actually trying to give this game a chance. Oh, I can't even let go of the... What the hell is going on here? You see, look what I mean. And you say I'm wanting to give this game a chance. Alright, let's fly over here and... Uh, see what's happening there. Uh, so let, let's get all of them. Right, let's, let's just... I want electric breath. Electric breath kills these guys so much better. In fact, it kills most of the enemies better in the game, to be honest. Especially in a hero's tale, but you know, I know this is not this game, but you know, electric breath does have a lot of good uses in that game. It really does, and uh, I think water breath as well. You get water breath in that game too. Uh, it's just the ice breath now I need to unlock at this point. Uh, yep. So I'm just gonna uh, collect the rest of the gems in this area because I mean, once at least all the gems are collected, I mean you could say that it is all over up until this point. Uh, Right, okay, the remains of the uh, gems are over there, so I'm going to uh, go for this challenge now. Uh, if, if the portal will even activate, that is. There we go, so. Yep, so I'm just going to uh, destroy all scarecrows. Yeah. I don't actually think destroying the other scarecrows in the level actually even does anything, to be honest. It really does not, so. Uh, Okay, so there's one more to go now. Which is just here. And there we go. That's that one done. Cool. Spyro's neck must be in so much pain in that position. I mean, just look at how he's sat right now. That's just absolutely just tragic. And I mean, why is Sparks hoarding dragonflies anyway? Because he wants to see you do a challenge. Like, how does that even make sense? It honestly absolutely does not. So, 
yeah, but let's get the rest of these gems and uh, one more mission, and then that's that. So here we go. Let's go through here. Can electric breath light these? No, it's gonna be flame. There we go. Yeah, so detonate these Acme TNTs. That's all that's needed to actually let the cows out. And yeah, that's that. So yeah, two more missions after this. But this is the thing, right? Easily missed Dragonfly here. Hey, Spyro, glad you're here. The doors are jammed. I set some explosives, but don't have any matches. My mama always told me that I should never play with matches. Anyway, maybe you can help me with the light? Uh, maybe if you turn round and look for a second and use your ears, surely you cannot be that dumb to see that I've just done that. My goodness. So anyway. Hey there, Dragon. Thanks for helping out this here farm. Anytime, Farmer Bill. Here, take this thing in my jig. I was going to use it in my new smoker BBQ for flavor. <laughs> hey, it's Fiona. Fiona from Shrek. So, <laughs> yeah, I love that reference. Good grief. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get these last few gems because I didn't actually collect these here for some reason. I don't know why I actually missed them, but I did. And that should be all the gems. There we go. All gems collected. So now there are just two more missions to do. Uh, of course, all these guys respawn. Why do they all do that? I have absolutely no idea. Annoying Riptops. Yeah, so it's shooting down the UFOs and rounding up cows now. Which I've still absolutely no idea how the cows have got over here. And what's going on here? Like, the level's not even loaded in. The ground's not even loaded in. What? Oh, come on. This is really weird now. Is, is it even going to load in at this point? Are we going to be playing on invisible ground? I have absolutely no idea, but... Oh, there we go. Right, I, I don't understand what was happening there. That was really weird, but... At least the level was still playable. Even though things weren't visually loading in. Uh, talk to the guy. Thanks for freeing the cows. You think you can go get them and move them back here? Of course. I'll just move all your cows in. You just stand there, and I'll do all your dirty work. Because, you know, that's how it's always got to work, can not it, for a hero? Heroes have got to do all the unnecessary work while you sit in total comfort. I'll just stand there doing the dance. Yeah, that's right. That is totally right. Uh... I don't know why you have to do multiple hits on the cows. I mean, one hit would be enough. But I mean, the fact that they're just so, you know, sort of like janky with the way they just sort of like jump back. I mean, this cow's even wandering off. Like, what's even going on here? So yeah, that's three cows rounded up. Uh, I just need to get the rest of them rounded up. I mean, I mean, look at how they jump. How can they have even made that jump over? That just makes absolutely no sense. How they could jump over that broken bridge there. It's absolutely silly. It really is. It, it, it's, it's totally pathetic. It honestly is. Uh, and there we go. Let's speak to the guy. Cool. Way to go, Spyro. We'll make a farmer out of you yet. By the way, while you were out looking for my cows, I found this here critter and I think it may belong to you. Maybe. Hey, it's Cedric. I think I might be needing that. But anyway, I am now going to be finishing the level, so... Uh, chasing down a UFO, and I believe that should be the last dragonfly. Well, I hope it is, anyway. Uh, yep, so glide over to this one. Yep, so basically all I really need to do now, to be honest, pretty much, anyway... It's just do a full lap of the level. That's all you've really got to do. And I just don't understand why you should do like a, a lap of a bland level. I really don't. Can I get past these guys without being shot? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, unless I just collided with an object. I didn't see what colour sparks was before. Because I, I weren't being observant. Uh, 
So anyway, let's go over here and do a flame here. I want to get that life up there though, because, you know, lives could come in very handy. Like they really could, so I'm just going to go over here. Do a uh, flame of that one. There we go. That's another life. So I've got 13 lives. Not really a lot if you think about it. You see, I don't even know if there's any much point in burning these scarecrows. I'm just going to leave them. And if there actually is point in burning them, I'm just going to have to make cuts in the video. But hopefully that will not have to be the case because that will be totally silly if you have to actually do that. So yes, here we go. Now, if we shoot down this UFO here. As you see. But... The dragonfly from it doesn't fall until the other side of the barn. Like, why does that even happen? And it's just sat there. It doesn't even fall. Like, okay. Uh, these dragonflies are probably just playing a game. There we go. We got the last dragonfly. Cool. So there we go with that one. So, uh, yes, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, head out of the level. And we're going to call that quits for this part. So I think this was shorter than the last part, maybe. I don't know, but... I think I've had enough of this game for today, because as I say, I've recorded two consecutive parts back to back, so... That's just 78 gems. I mean, wow. Okay, so... That, that's since I come out of that stupid UFO mission, so... Yeah, seeing that skybox is so nice, it really is, so... Yeah, there we go, everyone. So, this has been... Uh, part 3, where we, do, we have done Crop Circle Country, of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, so... In the next part, I will be doing Lao Islands, or Luau Islands. I don't know how you even say that word. Uh, I'm going to look this up and I'm going to research it, I promise, by the time I come to the next part. And I believe I will be joined by a guest commentator on this part as well, potentially uh, Emily Dixon, uh, whose favourite level uh, is that one. So, yep, so hopefully I'll have a guest on that part as well coming up next week. So, yeah, of course, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed this part and I will catch you all and we will see you in the next one. So have a good one and I will see you all then. Peace out.